Here is the world's biggest egg. And here is one of the smallest. I'm hatching three to see which one makes the best pet. But as they grew, so did the problems. I lost my space, my sleep, and my sanity. I thought raising pets would be fun, but this became the most insane, expensive, and dangerous thing I've ever done. World's biggest ostrich eggs, duck eggs, and the tiniest quail eggs, all hatching together under one roof. 10 ostrich, 20 duck, 100 quail eggs. My entire house turned into a giant incubator. First came the quail, smaller than a coin, lighter than pasta, but louder than an alarm. Then, the ducklings. The second they cracked out, they took one look at me and decided, that's mom. Six little ducks now follow me everywhere, bedroom, bathroom, even the toilet. Non-stop mommy parade. Then the ostriches started hatching, shells so thick they can hold 200 kilos. Candled one egg, and saw a massive baby moving inside. My heart stopped. One by one, they broke out with prehistoric screams and legs straight out of Jurassic Park. I named the dumbest, sweetest one Peanut. He melted my heart in seconds, turned my office into a full nursery, gave ducks a swimming pool, but these birds have zero brain cells. Peanut fell in the water bowl, had to blow dry him at 3 a.m and trip the breaker. They eat cameras, peck walls for hours, try to swallow anything that moves, including my $5,000 lens. The ducks grew fast, turned my bathtub into a disgusting swamp and started biting my feet. One quail had splayed legs, fixed it with a band-aid brace, and it actually worked. Miracle. Then a black duckling hatched. The others attacked him instantly used a laser pointer to distract them, finally accepted him during nap time. But the real punch in the gut came when Peanut got sick. Infection hit hard and fast. 2 a.m. emergency vet run over an hour away, but his tiny body couldn't fight it. In just seven days, he gave me more love than any animal ever has. I cried like a baby. Nature is brutal. The rest wouldn't let me sleep screaming mom all night, pecking my ears, demanding attention 24-7. No sleep, no shave, house smelled like a farm. I broke, completely broke. Finally, loaded everyone up for a 20 plus hour road trip to the urban rescue ranch. Best decision ever. Quail got a new home first, ducks got their own massive pond and went wild with joy. The ostriches now roam free on three acres, in a few years, there'll be giants having babies of their own. Started with cute little peeps, ended with chaos, danger, heartbreak, and tears. Was it worth it? My heart says yes, but if anyone asks me for advice, I'll say, bro, just get a cat. Do not try ostrich farming unless you want your life destroyed.